Hi, I'm Karthik and today we will be painting this antique bow. For this, I'll be using a 10 inch by 10 inch canvas. To start with, I have made a sketch of an antique bowl placed on a wooden table. So now I'm starting to paint the darker shades of the bow with a little bit of yellow ochre, burnt sienna and ivory black with a little bit of mint cigar. Next I'll be painting the lighter shade by adding a little bit of white to the same mixture of the darker shade. Now you can take a thicker brush and start blending in the edges of both the shades so that there is no straight lines found. It should look like the shade is just going across the bow. Now I'm making the curves on the bow to determine the shape of it. You can do this by adding a little bit of black to the darker shades. Now you can start painting the base of the bowl with a darker shade of grey. You can get this by mixing white and black. More on the blacker part because we need a darker shade. So the bowl has a lot of inner curves and outer curves. This you can achieve by making the outer curve a little grey and the inner curve a little black because the inner curve will be under the outer curve so you will get the shadow on the inner curve. So the base now has three layers. The top layer has a line in between which shows the demarcation the bottom layer has a separation as well but the center piece is a single piece which has a curve in between so you'll have to blend the colors in between now that you're done with the basic shade of the base it's time to go into detail the light is falling from the left so you'll have to lighten the side of the base on the left and darken the side of the base on the right. You can do this by adding white on the left and black on the right. Make sure you blend it very well so that there are no much of brush marks. Once you're done with the base, you'll have to go back to the bowl and have a look whether the shades are right. Right now what I'm doing is darkening the shades because I really feel that it can be more dark. Now let's get into the detailing. So what I'm doing right now is brightening the shade where there is light falling on it so the light is falling on the left so i am brightening it a bit more than the right side after painting the initial stage of detailing you can go into the hollow space of the bowl the colors that i'm using over here is the even more lighter shade than the one on the bowl. A lot of white on it. So since the light is falling from your left, the light will be inside on the right and darker on the left side.
We can do the detailing on the rim of the bowl with a very thin brush using white for the left side and black for the right side. Now let's move on to the wooden table. For this I am using yellow ochre and white with a little bit of linseed oil. Once you are done underpainting the table with yellow ochre and white, you will have to give a little bit of shade with burnt sienna and black. In this process, make the shadow as well on the right side of the bow. You can do this with direct black onto the yellow ochre. Give it a little touch of yellow ochre on top so that not just the black but even the yellow ochre is visible to give it a light shade of the wood. I am also using white on this to give it a multi shade on the wood after which I'll be giving it the detailing of a wooden reap. I'm using black with a liner brush to make the darker lines and using a brown with a little bit of black to make the lighter lines. Now start detailing on the wood with a small thin brush with some black, brown, white, yellow ochre. Mix it up. There is no right way to do it or a wrong way to do it. Make sure to give these thin lines in between the gaps of wood. Now you can take a dry brush and just blend in the colors. Don't over blend, we need those small lines in between but also not it to stand out but it to soak in. Now we can start with the background. For this I am using a light grey. I have mixed more of white and less of black. Paint it throughout the background. Once you are done with that, you can take direct black onto your brush and paint it on the left top corner. Don't take more paint, 
just spread it across the background and blend it with a blender brush. Don't completely blend it because we are not looking at changing the color. We are looking to get a gradient in the color. Now that you are done with the background, you can go back to your bowl and give it a highlight at the border of the rim so that it has a distinction between the background and the bow. You can also do a lot of changes like change a little bit of color where you can see the hollow part properly and also darken the shade if you feel that it doesn't look far away from the background. Give it a little bit of edges at the side. Make minor corrections where you can do. Darken the borders of the bow. If you feel that it is not properly painted, then do a little bit of work by giving it a proper shape. Because sometimes what happens is when you do the borders, the paint just goes inside the bow. So we don't want that to happen correct the shape properly make it a round shape so this is the final touch what we'll be doing To give it a finishing touch, you can take your thin brush and give it a very thin white line on the place where there will be light. And also enhance the white color wherever required. If this video was helpful, please make sure you like and subscribe. I'll be coming up with a new video once in a week or might be even twice in a week. Stay tuned and thanks for watching.